I was under the impression that this was sorted when I came to fix this. So obviously the water has got in, bit of flaky, powdery background, which is just gonna get damp and throw this off. All this crack in here will be the moisture just coming through. Loosening off the background. So I'll clean this up, remove any loose, have a dig around this area. Just a few tools I'll be using. A bit of scraping and digging, sanding and dusting. So I can tackle all this first, remove the loose and see how much moisture there is there. At the moment, it feels bone dry. But I'll open it up and then whatever's there will dry out. It's quite loose there. Just where the moisture's been drawing up there. I'm going to dig up here just to see how discoloured it is. I can't see the water tracking down. Could be, but there's no signs of any damage above. Which you would generally expect a little bit of soaking through. See the moisture sitting in this tray and coming over or somehow it's getting through around near the sill outside. So I'll clean this up and have a look at the other side. So that's this side cleaned off. Back to the plaster. Remove that chalky material off the surface, which is more than likely the Artex. So 
quite powdery but I needed to get that off because the filler I'm going to be putting on I want to last so plaster is sound this side you can see what I'm talking about there just underneath so just remove that I think right at the bottom there on the plaster there could be the old distemper as well old wall pineal with that mustardy colour there Right, anyway, that's cleaned up. When I did the repair here previously, it was all dry, as in we'd had no rain. So we've had rain overnight. I've come in this morning and if I just go down into the corner here and just wipe my finger on the plaster, see the damp there it's only slight but whatever is happening is still happening so I'm just looking at this plaster here along the bottom and the same on the other side it's that little bit of discoloration there and then if I go down into the corner there, the wet. So I'm going to have to leave it. So obviously every time it's raining, it's getting water in. When it stops raining, it's going to dry out. I've decided to use the exterior polyfiller. It's waterproof when it dries. So I won't get the constant damage going. This needs to get repaired, but it's a very small leak in the corner. Last little bit to do on this side. So generally I would like it to have been repaired, but unfortunately it's not gonna happen at the moment. So, the plaster has been unaffected, generally just around where the filler has been put in. The filler has soaked up the moisture, wicking from this corner, so it will act like a sponge just drawing it through. And every time it's going to blow this off. So, fingers crossed. This should last a bit longer. What I will expect to happen is the moisture to work out through here because I do think it's coming from out of this tray that sits at the bottom of the window. So I'll get this first layer in and then when all that's dry I'll add some texture. I'm now adding some texture. So sponge in a bag and I've got this waterproof filler I'll apply it onto the surface and then just give it some texture now obviously you may not have to do this how you do this is up to you but this will be right
So I wiped over this with a damp cloth. I'll smooth that down when it's dry. The only reason why the newspaper is there is to keep the sun off this while I'm working on it and while it's drying. Bucket of water. Smooth down just on the edge. This is dry. I've got some 180 cloth backed sandpaper. I'm just generally going round now, just smoothing back. Because this is at least, well, I'm guessing 40, 50 years old, maybe more. So it's had a lot of paint and it's been smoothed down. So we'll just give it a light rub over and then we'll give it a prime up. And then as we apply the coat of paint, we can adjust as we're going. I've got the first coat of paint going on. This first coat, I'm applying by brush and I'm going to scrub it in. Not too bothered about coming up to the edge yet. Remember this has had so many layers of paint. A lot of this has filled up over time. So load up my mini roller and then we'll put some more paint on and then we'll leave it to dry and then if I need to I can run over any areas with a little bit more filler and then we'll get more paint on now I'm bringing this edge in with my roller it's just easier than using the brush okay second coat going on this time, I'm just going to use the brush. So this will fill up any of the divots, give it a smoother look. I'll leave that to dry and then I'll give it another coat and then I'm done. So third coat going on now. I've already laid the paint on with the brush and then just adding a little bit more. Because you know, again, like over the years, it's been brushed, it's been rolled. So we just want to get it looking smooth. That's all right. I've just got the sill to paint now. That's the window sill finished. So three coats of Leyland Final Matte on the window reveal. And then on the sill, two coats of the Dulux Satin Wood. Just need to get that repair done outside now. But either way, what I've done there will last a lot longer than the previous filling done.